All right, guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over a story titled, I Dumped My Girlfriend Because of Her Friends, Not Because of Anything She Did. And guys, this story is about a guy who's been with his girlfriend, I think, for about a year. And he was really, after a year, starting to really see the true colors of what her friends are really like. And he literally describes them as cancerous. And upon that, and obviously having enough good sense to realize they're going to impact his life and how she treats him and all that type of thing, he broke up with her. And as you can probably imagine, people didn't like that very much. They didn't like that in his own life, and they also didn't like it when he posted his story online. And you're going to see also, guys, just all the crap what her friend, the type of crap her friends were doing. You're going to find out in this story that both her friends that she hangs out with are cheaters. One of them convinced their boyfriend or husband to do an open relationship, open marriage. Shocker. And as they're hooking up with dudes left and right while that guy's home watching the kid. And the other girlfriend cheats on her guy left and right. And it makes things worse. His girlfriend knows about this. So it goes to show. And I'm doing this, guys, as an example, because I talk about quite often for you relationship guys, how it's so important for you to find out who your girlfriend's friends are or her social circle, because they're going to influence her. Women hang out with other women that y'all have heard the term frenemies, right? I, I really don't know any guys, or I don't think I've ever known guys that have frenemies, because we won't just, we won't tolerate that bullshit in our lives. But women have frenemies all the time, because at the end of the day, there's always drama with the frenemies. And in spite, many women say they don't like drama. Let's be honest, they all like drama, whether it's a little bit of drama or a whole lot of drama. And the frenemies always bring drama. So they got frenemies in their lives. And those frenemies could cause turmoil in their relationships because that's just who they are or they uh, are jealous. Who knows? So you always have to pay attention to who your girl hangs out with. And if her friends are like this, which he described as cancerous, if they're garbage and bring a lot of problems in your life, it is best you A, screened her enough in the beginning that you don't get in a relationship with her, that you just walk away because they're friends. Or B, if you are in a relationship with her and start to really see the true colors, best to end it. Because that she's not going to give them up. Women don't usually give up their friends for a guy because they don't want to be alone. And of course, that can be the drama they can have in their lives. So it's going to impact you. They can convince her to cheat on you, amongst many other things, which you will see right here. So he handles this like a boss. And you're going to see also, not that any you guys will feel bad for her, but believe me, you'll see she's no saint. So this is exactly a good thing and what I recommend. So it starts off, he says here, uh, I've been with my girlfriend for just over a year, and overall, she's a nice person, but her friends are absolutely cancerous. The main ringleader has a kid and muscled her long-term boyfriend into an in open relationships. She parties several times a week and Fs other dudes whilst the pathetic, wormy doormat of a boyfriend looks after the two-year-old. Parties several times a week? Like, doesn't she have a job? Probably not. And this guy allows it. On the one hand, you could say he deserves it for being that weak. On the other hand, you feel bad for the guy. <clears throat> and she's a mother, I might add, of a two-year-old. It's unbelievable. The other one routinely cheats on her fiancé and even effed one of my bros in a bathroom stall the first time my friends and my girlfriend's friends hung out. What a classy bunch of girls. They pushed her into starting an OnlyFans and all sorts of other grotesque crap. But my girlfriend justifiably tells him to kick rocks because she's in a relationship. This only results in them throwing controlling boyfriend accusations my way. My girlfriend's last two boyfriends were complete deadbeats, one of whom was a recovering addict, so this is the, this is the only normal friend relationship she's been in for the past five years. So... The friends are pushing her to do an OnlyFans account. Imagine that. And because she doesn't want to do it because she has a boyfriend and is trying to make this thing work, he is labeled controlling. Oh, God forbid you don't want your girlfriend displaying herself for the whole world to see, doing Lord knows what, showing Lord knows what, right? Enough of that will get a woman eventually to cave and give in to her friend's demands. This, as he describes, is cancerous. This is why, before her becoming his girlfriend, he should have seen who her friends were. He wasted a year, in my opinion. But then again, if he used this to gain a lot of knowledge, then okay, fine. And by the way, notice he said that her previous boyfriends were all deadbeats. 
an addict, in other losers, means this is her... This guy, obviously, is not your typical nice guy. You can tell it right here. But she's trying a better man, if you will. That's what a lot of them do. And they eventually then cheat on that guy. He says, I knew it was only a matter of time before she caved. You can't be around serial cheaters and dirtbags without dabbling with it yourself at some point. And I can't, I can't exactly tell her to cut off her childhood friends without some sort of resentment festering. So I did us both a favor and ended the relationship. Yes, bro. Good job. Now, you should have found out what they were like before, but better late than never. And yes, she will eventually cave to their pressure and all that because they're going to want to sabotage. They're both cheaters and liars. So by her not doing that, they it's like a, a mirror reflecting what they're like. So they want to make her just like them. Misery loves company. Uh, she freaked out, but I just told her I was in a dark place and couldn't be in a relationship. I didn't have any enemy to tell her that was because her friends are actual human toilets. Yeah, but telling Miss, telling this woman who has a history of dating low lies that you're in a dark place, in a way, would probably actually make her more attractive to you. So I wouldn't have said that. This isn't the first girl I've broken up because of their friends. Now we're going to get a, a series of uh, updates here. He says, uh, he says, so a lot of people ask why I just don't tell her the truth. But what would that accomplish exactly? I'm not planning on getting back with her and telling her the reason I wanted to break up was because of her toxic friends would only drive a wedge between them at that time when she needs all the support she can get. You're being a little too thoughtful of her, and, and as you guys are about to see, she is no saint. I get the whole just tell her the truth thing, but that would just cause more harm if she thinks the people that she thought she could turn to were the reason she's dealing with a breakup in the first place. Some people might say, you gotta tell her that her friends are garbage and let her make up her own mind. And if they, if she stays with them and they bring turmoil in her life, it's her own damn fault. But then again, hey, I'm not, uh, this isn't a channel to make you all a bunch of saints. I want good men to come from this, but I don't mean you gotta be these walking around trying to, uh, you know what I mean. Another update, he says, a lot of you seem to think that once I told her the reason, she suddenly opened her eyes and see her friends for what they are. That is not happening. She was around when most of the cheating and scummy shit occurred and even lost her shit at me for once suggesting I tell the girl the fiancé. She's been friends with them since they were four to six years old, cutting them off would be next to impossible for her. So, she's an active participant in the lies and deceits to one of the girl's fiancés. She was right there when the girl's cheating, but she stayed loyal to the girls. What does this say about her? Another update, he says, although my girlfriend never did anything directly to me, she'd lose her shit and would side with them whenever I brought up her friend's questionable behavior. She wasn't an innocent bystander. She directly or indirectly lied to her friend's behalf and covered for them a bunch of times. Oh, Jen stayed over at my place. Or she just watched movies and drank with me. Uh, bear in mind, some poor sap bought the girl, uh, brought that girl. She always lied for a, a, a roughly $10,000 gazer ring. She's not a poor victim. Yeah, she's not a poor victim. She's an active participant and all that. And uh, obviously shows her attitude towards cheating. And this, remember, he has no idea things weren't going on anyway with her. I mean, think about it. And for the final update, this is longer, he says, uh, So I told the fiancé who was being cheated on. I found a lot of incriminating shit in my text conversations with my ex and a few damning photos. I got a hold of his number and sent him everything. He called me and we had an hour-long conversation where I basically broke down the entire cheating timeline for him. She wasn't with us on the 14th, etc., etc. Good for you. Good for telling this guy. He deserves to know this. And as you can imagine, the shit storm that's going to come at from this. I've been waiting a long time to tell this guy that he's about to sign his life away to a serial cheater. And I deeply resent the fact that I had to stay quiet about this. Poor effort broke down. It's hard listening to a grown man cry like that. He had suspicions, but never had any real proof. Looks like the wedding is off and his cheating ex fiance will need to start looking for a new place to live. I invited him out with my bros that weekend because he met most of his friends through his fiance, and I'm 110% sure they'll all ditch him or try to gaslight him into reconciling things. Of course they will. She's cheating on him left and right. He breaks up with her, kicks her out, and he's somehow the bad guy. Isn't that amazing? He and the other guy were the real victims in this situation, not my ex. I don't care about the fallout. Her and her friends can do their effing worst. I like this guy. Uh, the whole thing made me realize what a monstrous piece of crap my ex was for covering up this for so long, and I'm disgusted at myself for being complicit. I wouldn't be telling her jack shit. She and her effing toilet, toilet people friends deserve each other. This guy's funny. 
Now we have another update here as to the aftermath of him telling this girl's fiance. It says here, it took a few people's advice and did the right thing by telling the fiance who was being cheated on, and oh boy, did things go absolutely effing insane. The fiance basically demanded that my girlfriend's scum f friend give the engagement ring back after he par- he packed up her shit and left it outside their apartment. Ten thousand dollar ring, you bet your ass he should get that back. But do you think he's going to get that back from this girl? Hell no. A lot of their mutual friends basically turned on him for not wanting to work things out, but he stuck to his gun and understandably told them to f off. Good for this guy. They try to make him out to be the bad guy for kicking her out without notice, etc., etc. Her family even threatened to sue him. He says, effing LOL, he didn't reconsider. But he paid for everything, so good luck. Yeah, I love that. He throws all her stuff out, and to no surprise, he's paying for everything. And the family's going to sue him. Sue him for what? Seriously. Uh, I took him out with me and my friends that weekend, like I said I would, and told him he could call me or, or my other bro if he ever needed someone to talk to. I can relate to the fiancé situation better than anyone, so we've been talking quite regularly. We ran to his ex fiance's brother that night, and things got heated, but her brother was quick to calm down once he realized my entire group of friends would have absolutely effing mauled him if his D-head friends got anything has got physical. So, can you imagine that? He breaks up with the girl and kicks her out because she's been cheating on him for years. Right? Goes out with these guys, and then her brother's there and threatens to kick his butt. I mean, your, your sister is a lying, cheating WHRE, but... How dare you do that to my sister? Uh, he's funny and overall just a good guy, so he's fit and perfect. He fit perfectly well with my group of friends. His fiance, on their hand, has, isn't doing so hot. She's accused my ex and my other scummy friends of just encouraging her bad behavior and and, ru- and running her relationship, ruining her relationship. Their whole friend group is basically falling apart. The other babysitting boyfriend caught wind of the whole situation, and finally he grew some balls, and their relationship basically blew up after his girlfriend kept publicly defending her cheating friend. This is awesome. All these witches are going down, every single one of them. He moved out last time I heard, so his girlfriend isn't going to be ditching her kid and partying anymore without paying for an overnight babysitter. I'm not really friendly with him, so I don't know what the full details are, but it looks like he's seeking greener pastures. Thank the Lord. There's some justice in the world. Uh, my ex also lost her shit and started blowing up my phone. I basically told her to eat crap and blocked her number after she repeatedly accused me of trying to ruin her life. And she was the victim in this whole thing. Of course, no accountability. You regularly lied and covered up your friend's cheating. And I don't care if you've been friends with a girl four, to, four years old or six years old, preschool friendships, whatever. This girl's friends are garbage. And you don't think they would turn on her in a heartbeat? Come on. So, she did the next best thing and took the social media to smear me. (laughs) Basically resorted to the cliche controlling and abuser BS, but everyone just dogpiled on her and told her to shut the F up because it's pretty evident I was neither of those things during our relationship. Isn't that amazing in these stories, guys, when things don't go the way they want? Social media it is. Trashing the guy, essentially defamation, if I'm not mistaken. And what's funny about that is that a guy's name is dragged through the mud online that can make him look bad both in front of friends, family, and potential co-workers. That could have a damaging impact on his career, perhaps. So right then and there, you got all that proof to take pictures of and present to an attorney if you want to sue somebody for uh, defamation. To the people who called me out for my cowardice for not telling the fiancé, I want to say I want to say thank you. I should have done that a long time ago, and I'm, I'm going to try my best to be there for him as much as humanly possible. Yeah, because in, in the beginning of the story, when he was with his girlfriend, he was aware that uh, he was being cheated on, but at the time, he didn't say anything. But then he, bro- but then he realized how much they were all scumbags, broke up with her, then told the guy. Tough situation, but he made it right at the end. He says, uh, thanks for the support, but please don't <laughs> suck my you-know-what too hard. I still kept my mouth shut for months instead of just having the backbone and telling him. I could have spared him months of pain. The least I can do is be a shoulder cry out and have a few beers with the guy. Besides, a guy who's now one of my closest friends told me about an old ex of mine doing shady shit and was an absolute bro about the whole thing. I want to be able to do the same thing. I personally now know how crushing and brutally lonely his situation is. Hey, at least you told him eventually, right? 
But uh, there you go, guys. The whole friend thing this is a perfect example. So if you're relationship guys, as I've said countless times, pay attention to who your, girls, your girl hangs out with. And preferably in the dating period when you're getting to know her, which should take, a, should take at least six months before you get into a commitment where you see what she's like, what her family's like, what her friends are like. Pretty much then and there, you can be able to find out what they're like. And they can hide things, sure, but do your best. But even in the beginning, if they hide things, but later on it's revealed what they're really like, mark my words, it will come back to haunt you, okay? Because by and large, most women cannot go against their, their circle of friends. And so if they're a bunch of liars and cheaters and all that, it's going to rub off on her. If they're all having OnlyFans accounts, showing off their bodies to dudes around the world doing Lord's knows what, it's only a matter of time before they convince her to do it. If all of them are single and are, are uh, carousel riders and they're secretly jealous of her because she has a man, sooner or later, it'll come back on you. You get my point. So if they're garbage, cut her loose. Maybe she's good to you and all that, but eventually we'll come back to bug you. And again, guys, got to take care of yourselves here. We're not. You know what happens to the white knights. You know what happens to the nice guys that fall on the sword and try to do the honorable thing and be the gentleman, it comes back to bite. You got to take care of yourself. And if people will label you as a selfish a-hole, well, then so be it. It's not their freaking business. And if the girls call you an a-hole, well, you're doing something right. And we all know I'm right there. So, all right, guys, that was it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know. Do you think this guy was in the wrong for breaking up with her because of her friends? I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that, but I would still like to hear your opinion on it. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.